Lovelies, yay BGD here. I'm gonna do another little quick video. Um, I have plans to do like longer videos this weekend, but who knows if that's gonna happen. Um, I've been working on wigs because I have like three paid for commissions and then I have like six. No, I have like four trade wigs and another wig that I'm doing for a friend that's a commission. Um, but, uh, this one's been, <clears throat> this one and another one has been in my house for, like, too long. They're done, but they've just been stuck in my head, in my house, because I work, so, um, post office closes <laughs> during my work hours. Um, but this one I really enjoy. I need to trim the front of the wig cap, because you can still see there's bits of wig cap at the front. Either that or I'm going to, I'm just going to cut it. Because if I heat it and then stick it down, it'll flatten the top. Which will not be what I want. Um, however, this is supposed to be like a powdered wig um, style for MSD. Um, the ponytail was a little thin before, so I filled it. Um, the person who commissioned it wanted it it fuller so I did that so I need to brush it and get the little stray bits out and trim off the ties that I used to tie it on and then glue it on um because it's just extra yarn that I put on there in like a thing it's hard to explain but um he's super cute well this wig is super cute I'm assuming he's going to a boy um I shouldn't assume things but I love this wig, super cute. I love this pastel pink, although if you mix it with any other lighter colors, you can barely tell that it's pink. Um, I started another wig, but it's trash, it's actual garbage, so I need to start it again. This one's for my friend, um, for his little yo babe. You might be thinking, why am I using a mini head? Well, that's because mini fee heads are not your standard MSD head. They have the same exact size as most USDs. So I'm using this head. And um, this wig is horrendous uh, because it had been a minute since I made a short wig on an MSD and a short wig, period. The last one was Elijah's wig that I made like 17 years ago. Um, so this is garbage and I'm probably just going to toss it. Normally I try to scavenge like a wig cap or whatever, but I honestly will just be tossing this um, like so. So I'm going to have to restart that one. Um, this one I just started on. The wig cap is annoying because I got some blue fluff from my other yarn in the wig cap and it's going to be a white wig, so that's going to aggravate me. But this is my wig for my collection, so I'm not too worried. But with this wig, I have been kind of productive today, and I've tested out a couple things, like short fibers again. Um, I mean, SD between MSD and SD is going to feel different because small fibers for SD are not as small on MSDs. But I've learned to work with it. So I worked on that and I used some good old fashioned flocking. Like cutting small little fiber pieces. And um, I don't know how I feel about it. Um, because I use hot glue for my wigs, like wig making, instead of regular glue. Uh, regular flocking doesn't work for me. But I think if I pack it on a lot and then press it down. And make sure my finger doesn't touch the hot glue it might work however this doll is white skin and the fiber is white so and my wig cap is see-through um, because that's like my new thing because see-through wig caps are cool <laughs> um so I tried that and it looks fine on him because he has white hair and he's white skin so I have to try it again on another wig which I'm gonna make for for this guy here um god he's so heavy 
he's not the heavy he's not the tallest but he's giant um but yeah i'm gonna retry flocking and then i'm gonna finish the other commission wig that goes with this one um hopefully i get that done this weekend because that wig those wigs have been sitting in my like commission thing lineup for like four weekends now and i feel like super shitty and i've already discussed this with the the, com the commissioner and they're fine um because they're like okay if i can wait this long for a doll then i should be able to wait this long for a wig and i'm like i get it but i also feel shit for not having it done and then like eye situations so i'm trying to like get these wigs done so i don't have to ever do wigs for anybody else because i literally don't think i can until i get my eye situation down packed because um they cause me tiny migraines but anywho um trying out some new sideburn situations because if you don't have the exact sculpt of the person you're making the wig for you can't really add little flap a bits on the side like actual wig cap parts on the sides because it might not match up to the ear dimension on their head sculpt so i like this um you guys will barely be able to see it because white on white but um there's that i also tried a new hairline technique with the wig cap itself so there's a little more like zoom 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 a hairline instead of like rah. um i also tried this new thing i also tried this on evermore's wig i already put her back in the closet um so and it was a flop <laughs> i tried to do like an invisible part if you've ever made like human wigs which is what i do also um there's like an invisible part that you can do and I've been trying to do that on doll wigs and I decided to test it out. It was a fail on that wig. So it kind of looks like there's a scalp part situation. It's hard to explain. If you don't know wig lingo, then I just look up invisible part. Like actual good ones, not the ratchet ones that are like... <sighs> Anywho, um, I tried that on this wig too. I can't really tell if it worked until I do the other side. And I kind of wanted to try working on the hairline to see if I could get it to kind of like zhuzh out on the sides. I wish I had a picture to show you, but I was kind of going for like a K-pop style. Like sometimes it'll be a middle part and like the sides feather out and it's short all around. I kind of wanted to do that, but with a side part. And I feel like the sides still need to zhuzh out. Like they go out and then they swoop. Styling tools help do that effect, but it doesn't work for me with yarn on it all. So working on the hairline and how I glue the, the hair down helps me and that. And I kind of like it so far. I like how it looks, how it falls. Um, it looks a little more natural than what I've been doing so I can do like some styling like you can kind of see what I mean like it zhuzhes out and then it flows down um but anywho that's kind of what I've been working on I'm glad I got to work and see if I could still do what I used to do like with flocking and short fibers but that's about all that I've been working on is wigs um because I've only been working like today and a little bit of Thursday I've had a busy week and I had doctor's appointments so and I gave blood so I kind of just died when I came home <laughs> cute um besides that frost has kind of a face up it's half like I said before but I don't know if I'm gonna keep half of this or keep the half that's already on here um the eyebrows he has white hair so I didn't know what to do with the eyebrows seeing he's white resin I can't do white eyebrows so I just mixed some gray pastel with the white paint that I already had out and I kind of like the shape of this eyebrow I hate the shape of this one because I couldn't get the tail in to be like watch on so there's that and then I feel like the beginnings is just like blah 
there's no like flow to it like you can get with pastels so I might just do gray pastel next time and wet the pastel I kind of like his eye makeup kind of don't care for it I actually added blue pastel and I didn't seal it because I was like I don't know if I like it so there's partially some on this eye and there's none on this eye because I've been playing with his head and um, his chin is uh, dirty so um yeah luckily he's sealed so I can just that off but I think that's gonna be it I told you guys that these videos weren't gonna be longer than 10 minutes and boom look at your girl so I'm gonna go bye